What's going on guys? Mike Shane here with Michigan Muscle and today we're headed over to MJD Performance in Novi uh, to go check out the car. I uh, had the Camaro dropped off this morning with them. Um, I was having that that tuning issue with it where it was losing power on the dyno um, and uh, it turns out the car was cutting like 30 degrees of timing for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Um, so Mike's working on that right now but uh, I'm gonna go over there and hang out and get some clips of the car and hopefully we're done tonight we're, we're gonna be able to find an issue but um, the car wasn't leaning itself out. The injectors were fine. It's getting enough fuel. Um, but for whatever reason, it was just it was cutting timing. I don't know why. Um, so we're gonna check that out and uh, see what happens. But you know, fingers crossed that uh, it's not something too major. Just, you know, an easy fix. Um, so uh, let's go over there and take a look. Let's see, so I just like. Yeah, it's really loud. Obviously had to try out the new power the car had. Play a pretty nice patch, so I hope you like that. Um, but I'm driving back till I got the car back. Um, Mike ended up figuring out the issue. Um, it turned out to be some torque management problem. The car thought it was it was anticipating a shift, and when the car goes to shift, it cuts its timing. So it was cutting 30 degrees of timing um, in anticipation for a shift that wasn't necessarily going to be there. Um, so we got that all squared away, and we were able to figure it out. And uh, the car actually picked up 15 more horsepower and 38 foot-pounds of torque, I want to say, from the uh, from the headers. It was, it was actually a lot. I was surprised. Um, and this, guys, this is all based off of Mike's dyno, too, by the way. The one at M1 was different. There was another dyno I was on that was also different. Um, before the headers on Mike's dyno, the car made 400 um, horsepower, and it was 400 foot-pounds of torque. And um, now, after the headers... It made uh, 415 and 430, so uh, 438. I'm sorry. So the car is making a lot more power. People are not paying attention today. Um, but also, if you didn't notice, the back seat's gone. Um, or at least the top half of it is. Um, I pulled it out because I don't know if you guys are ever driving with passengers. People want to get in the back seat of your car, and you're like, no, because then everyone else has to. People in the front have to move their seats forward, and it's really comfortable for everyone. So, I pulled my back seats out, and now I don't have to have that problem anymore. Um, the only drawback is the car is really loud now because the back seats act as a lot of insulation. So, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so I'm glad I got everything screwed away with the car. It feels way better now. Um, now I can start planning for the next build or next part of it, which I think will be heads and cam. Uh, we're going to see. I don't know if I can tackle it on my own. I'm going to try to, maybe. We'll see. I don't know, I still have to kind of think about that one and try to decide. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, so I'm really happy that the car turned out, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to check out MJD Performance on Instagram. Check them out on Facebook. They do uh, Mike the Road over there. He does builds for LT, LS Motors. I think they do Hellcats now and some other things. 
but as you saw from the videos, it's primarily GM stuff. So uh, go check them out. And uh, as always, make sure you like this video, guys. Drop a comment below on the new things you want to see. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.